Jesus, he is my worship. God, all of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. Say, here is my, here is my worship. Lord, a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He's taking away my sorrows and now I'm free. I want to grow, hallelujah, grow. I want to grow, hallelujah, grow. Because of Jesus, every day I shall cry, they do. Double, double, heavenly blessings, my ear, they receive.
hands that is behind the continuous growth of this church till date. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 6 verse 44. John 6 44. No man can come to me except the father which has sent me draw him and I will raise him up at the last day. Hallelujah. Pray with me, Father, in the name of Jesus. 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 We thank you. Thank you. For your mighty hands. Hand. That is behind the continuous growth of this church till date. Lift up your voice and give God thanks. Father, Lord, Father we say Jesus, thank you for your mighty hands hand. that, that is behind the continuous growth of this church till date. We, we give you praise. We give you glory. We bless your name, Lord. We exalt you. We call we thank you 
Lord, we give you praise and glory. We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus Christ. Ka 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 
Lord. Our voices heard globally. You, in the name of Jesus, Thank be you, the glorified Father. Lord. Thank in you, Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You alone are worthy, Lord, to be praised and adored.
taken from the book of Psalms 2 verse 8. It says, Ask of me and I shall give thee the hidden for thy inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So we're going to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Give to prevailers. Give to prevailers. Multitude, Multitude that cannot be numbered and let them be planted and established in prevailers as true disciple of Christ. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, give to prevailers multitude that cannot be numbered and let them be planted and established in prevailers as true disciples of Christ. La brakande shada la vosa tanajke la brakonda yada la vosa reba sata yede de de vosa reba baba kanda yada la vosa reba sata yaka yede de vosa reba sata yada la vosa esta branda sata yedi la brakonda e brakande yede de 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 vosa la brasa sata yede de de vosa la brakande shada la vosa li brakande shada de de la brakande For thus says the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while, and I'll shake the heavens and the earth, and the sea and the dry land, and I'll shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I'll fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. 
The silver is mine and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house, this latter house, shall be greater than that of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace, says the Lord of hosts. Say amen. 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 Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. By your spirit. By your spirit. Shake the heaven and the earth. Shake the heaven and the earth. For my sake. For my sake. And grant, and grant me. And grant me. Dramatic turn around this dramatic month. Dramatic turn around this month. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. By your spirit. By your spirit. Shake the heavens and the earth. Shake the heavens and the for earth. My sake, for my sake. For my sake. And grant me. And grant me. Dramatic turn around. Dramatic turn around. This month. This month. Lift your voice and pray the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. By your spirit, shake the heavens and the earth. For my sake, and let it be dramatic. Take ten around for my second name of Jesus. It's Kappa Catolia Cayada Dosa, Zimbra Catayada, da 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 Shake the heavens, uh, shake the earth uh, for my sake, uh, and grant me drama, dramatic turn around in the name of Jesus. Let there be all round shaking in my faith for this matter. <speaking in Spanish> Shake the heavens for my second, shake the earth for my second. Let there be dramatic turn around, sudden turn around, sudden turn around, sudden turn around. It my favor. Shake the heavens, shake the nations, shake the government, shake the people, shake the Rapakata Dramatic turn around, dramatic turn around. Sudden change of stories, sudden change of stories, sudden lifted. It's a man who prakata kalika. It's a man who prakata kalika. It's a man who prakata kalika. Shake the authorities of the nations, shake the governments of nations, shake the new faith of nations, shake the governments of nations. Don't think around for my people, don't think around for my people, don't think around for my people. It's a man of God, Rapa Kataya Baradha, Likana Mayaradha, Rapa Kataya Baradha, it's a man of God, Likana Mayaradha. Lift up your voice and appreciate God. In Jesus' precious name, we are still praying. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49 from verse 24. It says, Shall the priest be taken from the mighty? Or the lawful captive be delivered. But thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them, with him that contended with thee. I thought somebody saying amen to that. Amen. I will save thy children. Amen. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, amen. and they shall be drunken with their own blood, amen. as with the sweet wine. Amen. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am the Savior and the Redeemer the mighty one of Jacob. 
lift your voice with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I invoke vengeance. I invoke vengeance upon every altar. Contending with my glory. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I invoke vengeance upon every altar. Contending with my glory. In this month of glorification, lift your voice. I invoke vengeance. Vengeance belonging to God. I invoke vengeance. Whatever sitting on my glory, contending with my glory, then bring with my glory. I invoke vengeance in prevalent praying. In God hearing your voice, lift up your voice. Every power in this month of glorification, whatever contending with my glory. Vengeance, 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 ratatatata, iakapa, 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 iakwa, toto, akwinede, akona dada ya, arre. Every power contending with my glory, vengeance, vengeance, with my glory, vengeance, I fall. Every power they bring with my glory. Can they bring me deliver? Can they love God to be set free? God said the Lord. Even now, yeah. even the love of God shall be delivered. Whatever, sit him on my glory. Vengeance, vengeance, power, contending with the glory of my family. Vengeance, Yapata, Yakwa, Yakwale. Every order that says that I will not accept vengeance, vengeance, Iapa, Equala, Exosa, Equanana, Iapa, da 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 da, Eko da 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 da, Eko da 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 da, Eko da 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 da. Why was I be begging to protect from to come to torture? Limiting my glory, submitting my glory. My marital glory, who is contending with it? Fire, vengeance, my financial glory, my ministry glory, whatever power. Contending with it, vengeance, vengeance. I go there, I cut up the door, 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 I cut 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 the door, Contending with my family glory, vengeance. I am at all. I invoke vengeance by the blood, by the blood, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. At the end, I want At the end, I don't know. I am at all. 
Celebrate Jesus as you take your seat. Church, praise the Lord. Testimony time. Please, if we have, if we have testifying in the house, please kindly come out while I read out these testimonies. This is from Sister Ayuso Rachel. She's thanking God for the gift of life and for giving her family. Her younger sister was trusting God for a job. In her prayer point for the week of emphasis, she included her in her list and prayed to God to give her a job. To God be the glory, God gave her a job with benefit. Somebody shout hallelujah! hallelujah. This was from Sister Joyce. During Pastor's, Pastor Runke's preaching on one of the music services, she instructed that we read 10 chapters of the Bible every day. So I got home and started reading five chapters every day. While reading and meditating, I saw Matthew 6.25, take no thought. And that settled a lot of financial hardship I was facing that period. After med meditation, I got a miracle credit alert. Church, praise the Lord. That's from Sister Joy. Please, if you have testimonies, please kindly come out. This one is from Mr. Udo, Udo Bong Epe. He says it's a job breakthrough. I graduated 2015 and I was endlessly in search of a job, but all my efforts seemed fruitless. So I came to church on a certain day in December 2022. I met daddy for prayers, so he prayed over me and anointed my credentials. I believe that after the prayers, I will get a breakthrough and that I will no longer struggle in 2023 as regard to seeking for a job. Surprisingly, three days before the World Changers Convention, I got a call about a job offer I don't remember applying for in Port Harcourt. And during the convention, Daddy called out for those who had struggled and setbacks in their career and finance. So I came out while he was praying. I felt a strange sensation around my head as though something was crawling over me. On Saturday evening, I got a call concerning this job to do some medicals and resume, but I couldn't because the convention, I did the medicals and got a call back for the job. I got an offer later to work in L NLCNG as a HSC advisor. God miraculously gave me a job that I did not apply for. All glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. I want to thank God for my life. I want to thank God for adding another year to my life today. May his name be glorified in Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless that all these testimonies and be glorified in the name of Jesus. Please let's be on our feet as we thank God for these testimonies. Father, we give you thanks. Thank you for these beautiful and amazing testimonies. We appreciate you and we know more you will do continuously to the day you come in the name of Jesus. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let it just pass straight forth. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord.
And I say, get me buyers. And you walk around the streets convincing people why they should buy the product. God is a marketer. Hallelujah. He will pick one person and he will convince your neighbor. He will convince your parents. He will convince your siblings. He will convince your bosses to follow him. Begin to ask God in this month, glorify my life glorify my life such that when they see me outside they want to know my kind of God when they hear my name they want to know my kind of God when they perceive my perfume they want to know my kind of God when they hear my story Father glorify my life in this month, pray that prayer. Glorify my life and glorify my life and in this month of glorification. Do to me what only you know how to do. Bless me in such a way that only you can bless and transform me in such a way that only you can. Hallelujah. 
in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks for this moment. We've come before you again because there is no other option. Who else can love us like this? Who else can bless us like this? Who else can sit 247, neither slumbers, neither sleeps, and watch over us? Who else can bring us back when we're in error? Who else can fight our battles? Who else can enter the ring with us and insist on make, making us victors? We've come back to say thank you. We saw what you did from January down to the month of June, and you pushed us into this month once again. We've come back to say thank you. We were sick before but the sickness did not consume us. We have come back to say thank you. Oh, we were broke before, but nobody heard our story. We came back to say thank you. We traveled far. We traveled near. None was lost. We've come back to say thank you. We give you praise. No father can be this caring. We give you praise. You will bless us and you will not gossip us. You will increase us and you will not gossip us. You provide for us and you will not gossip us. You will give to us free of charge. And no one, no one will take the glory. We've come back to say thank you. We've come back to say thank you. My friends will not praise you for me. My wife will not praise you for me. I use my mouth to say thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Oh, we give you praise. <laughs> we give you praise. When they came at us with arms, they came at us with arrows and guns. They made you standing by us. We've come to say thank you. We've come to say thank you. And I'm a panic. We've come to say thank you. Uko, we've come to say thank you. Edidem, Mendidem, we've come to say thank you. Andi, Kweme, Andi, Fak, we've come back to say thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Look at how beautiful we are. We don't work too much. We don't even have savings. But look at us. Round about us, you have been so good. We give you praise. Thank you, Father. As we sit before you, oh God, bless us once again. And when we leave this place, let your touch be upon us. In the name of Jesus. Jam your hands and give God praise. Jam your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. As we take your seat. You can welcome your neighbor to your left and your right. You can compliment your neighbor. I'm happy you came. Hallelujah. I thank mommy and daddy for such an awesome privilege. May God bless and enrich them in all round in the name of Jesus. So from Sunday, we'll be looking at wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Today, we'll be looking at the significance of supernatural wisdom. The significance of supernatural wisdom. James chapter 3, we'll take verse 17 as our anchor scripture. James 3, we'll take verse 17. So yesterday, Pastor Judah did a wonderful job and um, we should know that if you come to church and the word is dispersed and you don't write anything, you are doing yourself. Because times will come when you will need a word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prevail as hallelujah. You should learn to imbibe the character of writing in church. Amen. Amen. James 3 verse 17. James 3 verse 17. So before we read that, we should know that for us to experience glorification, we need wisdom. For us to touch the glory of God, we need wisdom. For us to increase in this kingdom, we need wisdom. You see, somebody may favor you and give you a job. Oh, I just like the way you dance in church. You are a committed member. Come and take this job. But you know, when you start that job, for you to be promoted, you will not dance. So. 
Amen. It is now much more than dancing. You must prove yourself worthy for the promotion in that job. You must show that you have gotten a level of wisdom to match that promotion. So while some things will come as favor, for you to grow in that place, you must have wisdom. God will not glorify what does not make sense. Everything that God does is good. So you cannot associate God with failure. Hallelujah. You cannot be a prayer warrior and not studious. You cannot be a prayer warrior and not diligent at your job. Amen. You know, because we are Christians, we think that prayer will take every place. So we go to our place of work. And first thing we are doing, we are praying for three hours. And there's a job to be done. Amen. Hallelujah. You should know when to add salt to food. Am I correct? You should know when to add maggi. Am I correct? You should know when to pray. So while you are built in prayer, be also built in wisdom. Because for us to grow, we must acquire wisdom. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure and then peaceable and then gentle and then willing to yield and then full of mercy and then of good fruits without partiality, without hypocrisy. This kind of wisdom is not the wisdom that your grandfather will tell you. Yesterday we learned that there are earthly wisdom. We have demonic wisdom. So, before now, we used to think that if you have an issue and you meet an old man, whatever he says is wise. So, they will say that uh, wisdom is in the gray of the head. Nalayo. The place that we have wisdom now is in the spirit of God. Praise God. Let me give you an instance. Before I got married, I met my dad. I said, Daddy, I don't see a wife. Oh. He said, Ah, congrats. He asked me, How long have you known this lady? I told him, For 10 years now. He said, Okay. Does she have any child for you? I said, No. We never marry. He said, Ah, why? You should check if she is fertile. Is that not wisdom? That is wisdom. Yes, because we know that some persons have married five years, ten years, no children. Hmm? People have been deceived into, into marriage without carrying womb. So it sounds like wisdom, but it is earthly wisdom. So whatever you hear from anybody, you check, is that wisdom pure? Is that wisdom peaceable? Is that wisdom gentle? Is it willing to yield? If it is not this, it is not from above. Ah, if not me, I for sure the guy is shaking. Is that wisdom pure? Jesus came and he made some corrections. It is no longer an eye for an eye or a tooth for a tooth because because you'll be advised. <laughs> if not me, they do that, <laughs> forget to. I go leave anointing aside and show I'm shaking. That is wise, but it is not pure. Praise God. If we do not know what wisdom is from above, we'll be deceived. Because if your ears are in the internet, there are so many gospels nowadays. So many signs, so many wonders. See, the prayer to receive wisdom is greater than for signs and wonders. Listen, because we can have signs from any source. We can have wonders from any source. But wisdom from above only comes from God. Praise God. They will tell you, eh, 
the girl fine. I don't say she fine. <laughs> she feel carry belly. You know, go try the one or two things. It will now sound nice in your ear. And your mom will come. You are my only son. I want to have my grandchild early. It will now sound nice in your ear. But is it from above? Hallelujah. Praise God. So the first significant wisdom, number one, it is a key to our glorification. The first significance of supernatural wisdom, it is a key to our glorification. This wisdom is a key to our glorification. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 7, it is a key to our glorification. 1 Corinthians 2, we'll read verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. The hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. So God gives you the wisdom to be a good father for his glory. He gives you the wisdom to be a good manager for our glory. Amen. If you do well where you are assigned, before they mention God, they've already praised you. Oh, that guy is diligent. Ah, that, I, he made a complete to work. I like that guy. They never mentioned God yet. Oh. So whatever he gives to you, it is to make She will place on your head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory she will deliver to you. These are the things that wisdom can do. A crown of glory she will deliver to you. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. So the proof of wisdom is in our increase and in our multiplication the proof of wisdom is in our increase and in our multiplication the proof that we have God's kind of wisdom is that we begin to increase and we begin to multiply you cannot have God's wisdom and then remain small amen then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of those who make merry. I will multiply them. And they shall not diminish. I will also glorify them. And they shall not be small. It is your portion in the name of Jesus. Number two, it is the pathway for lasting success. Wisdom is the pathway for lasting success. You can succeed by foul means but a lasting success will come from the wisdom of God without the wisdom of God labor is unproductive without the wisdom of God labor is unproductive and lasting success cannot be achieved without God's wisdom labor is unproductive and lasting success will not be achieved. Psalm 127 verse 1. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 10. Unless the Lord builds the house. They labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city. The watchman stays awake in vain. Unless. Unless. That is a very big clause unless unless you can run to your shop early you can clean your shop early you can sit down you can know how to do savings meticulously but unless the Lord is the one that opens that shop with you unless unless it is God that gives you the husband unless unless God gives you the wife unless unless I've heard people that got divorced six months after wedding 
unless some person starts years after they don't get picking finish then something will make them to separate anything God starts he finishes it anything 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 he is called alpha and then omega you know what it means that when he starts something he will not leave you he will start and then he will ensure that it ends well the issue is when you start and as you don't despoil you can't bring God inside eh -eh. he is not omega he is first of all alpha and then omega so unless God starts it Ecclesiastes 10 verse 10 if the axe is dull and one does not sharpen the edge then he must use more strength but wisdom wisdom brings success number three wisdom preserves life wisdom preserves life exactly 7 verse 12 Wisdom preserves life. Who has who have it? The Bible does not tell us here that to have money is not good. Mm -mm. It tells us that money is a defense, and it is true. Because when you begin to accumulate wealth, your reputation changes. But it did not end there. It says that what he make wisdom to pass money, now say, it gives life to those who have it. Money cannot give life. Hallelujah. It cannot. It cannot. So there are doors that money can open. There are things that wisdom will bring. For some of us who are yet to be married, ask 100 persons that are in marriage. Tell them, sir, I beg, money if you keep marriage. Money has a huge role to play in marriage. Very correct. But if it's to sustain it to the end, it cannot do that. Hallelujah. Yes. Wisdom sustains life when money fails. Wisdom sustains life when money fails. For the seventh of Genesis, chapter 5, verse 15. For the seventh chapter of Genesis we'll read verse 15 so when money failed in the land of Egypt I thought money was everything until I saw that money can fail but there is no way in the Bible when they wrote that the wisdom of God failed so money can fail you can have money and you still be unable to pay for oxygen you can have money and you still die of cancer. Somebody can have money and 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 Amroba still invade and empty your bank. When money failed in Egypt, so when money fails, wisdom will sustain you. Where money cannot open the door, wisdom, wisdom. Praise God. It helps us to see things through the eyes of God. Wisdom helps us to see things through the eyes of God. Hebrews 4.13 It helps us to see things through the eyes of God. And there is no creature hidden from his sight. But all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom you must give account. All things. All things. 
all things are open. All things. The wisdom that God gives you will make you to look at something. I was speaking to somebody some days ago, a place of work, about relationship. And I told the young man, there is no guarantee that what your girlfriend is telling you is truth. No matter how pretty she appears, no matter how religious she appears, the only the, the, the only agency that can vet her sincerity is the Holy Spirit. Because you can catch her in a corner and she's speaking in tongues. And that same girl is a prostitute. Amen. There are so many deceptions everywhere. And then we use Christianity to cover it. We use tongues to cover the whole thing. But this verse tells us that no matter how hidden it is, you will see the truth through the eyes of God. Everything is naked. Everything. Everything. You cannot run from God because everything is naked before him. During my first um, two months in NYSC camp, a pastor came to talk to us and he shared a wonderful story. He said sometime when he was in his early 30s, he was broke. And some of his friends brought an idea to rob somebody who just came from abroad. So he said, okay, this is just one chance. After this one, we'll share the money. I won't do again. They agreed. So they took oath that if they catch you, you will not mention my name. And then they planned their movement. They entered the compound. It was successful. So four of them they were running and then and jumping over the fence. He was the last to do that. So as he got to the fence, the guy they robbed stood at the balcony and called his full name. His three names. This guy is not somebody he, he knew before. He stood there and called his three names. And the guy stood. He turned back. Asked the guy, How did you know my name? He said, He just heard the voice. He said, He heard someone tell him to call these names. And his guys on the other side of the fence were calling him to come. He said, Bros, I know you've robbed me, but come. Because if you, I've already called police, they're all over the place. Come, come. And the rest is history. He's based in Delta State now, a powerful man of God. You cannot hide from the ones to whom everything is open. You cannot. So when you come before God, the first thing you will tell him, Daddy, I am here again. Ask myself. Let me see my weakness through your eyes. Let me see my lapses through your eyes. Because there are things I can be doing and I think it makes me religious. It makes me, but these things are not what you want me to do. Let me see my weaknesses through your eyes. I cannot hide from you. I may be a good pastor. I know how to preach. A good worshiper. I can lead them in worship. But there are things I cannot hide from you. Amen. You will have God's kind of answers to problems. Wisdom gives God's kind of answers to problems. Matthew 19, 26, Romans eleven thirty three. But Jesus looked at them and said to prevailers, With men this is impossible, but with God all things. All things all things. 
you may not know how, but all things. He is the one saying all things. Not a prophet. God is the one saying. You may not be sure of the end, but God is the one saying all things. It may take time, but God is saying all things. All things. All that he wants you to do is to allow him give you his kind of wisdom. When my wife and I noticed that she was carrying fibroid also. There was no time to sit down to cry. There was no time. There was no time to sit down to lament. We had to, we had to run to God. Because your, your, your parents, your friends may give you advice that will inject fear into you. They will tell you stories. Ah, you know, hear that one. You know, hear that woman. And when you pick this information, you can't sleep at night. But there is a God that gives peace. So when we met mommy, when we met daddy, they looked at us and the heavens were opened because what they told us sustained my wife till the day of delivery you see you may not be sure of what you've received as answer you may not be sure but the end is proof that God spoke because I know that God is the only doctor that has not lost any patients yet praise God so no matter how heavy it is sometimes you sit down and you check it happened to my grandmother it happened to my mother now I am facing it my daughter too will take it but if you turn it to God unless the Lord builds the house you know one thing with God the Bible says he gives beauty for ashes that means when you come he looks at you and he will collect your ashes and give you his beauty amen he said come to me if you are heavy laden he said he will give you rest how he will take the yoke from you and when you go you will not feel it again it is possible Amen. Hallelujah. Number four. God's wisdom brings peace. God's wisdom brings peace. God's wisdom brings peace. Proverbs 3 verse 17. Isaiah 58 verse 11. Proverbs 3 verse 17. Proverbs 3, 17. Her ways are ways of pleasantness. That is wisdom speaking now. And all her paths are peace. Isaiah 58, verse 11. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones you shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Amen. God's wisdom speaks peace to us in troubled times. Psalm 85 verse 8. Psalm 85 verse 8. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace. I will hear what God will tell me when I have that nightmare. I will hear what God will tell me when I, when I, when I have that abortion and I go back home 
and they call me names and they call me walkabout and they call me prostitute and they call me a bad woman I will hear what God will tell me when they call me an irresponsible daddy an irresponsible husband I will hear what God will tell me when I lose my job I will hear what God will tell me when I cannot pay my rent I will hear what God will tell me after the miscarriage I will hear what God will tell me he will speak peace when my father insults me because he cannot understand me God will speak peace when my neighbor will mock me because nothing to show for now God will speak peace God will speak peace that is what he does he speaks peace he will not leave you the way you came to him uh -uh. he gives you a souvenir and the name is peace when you go back and they expect to see you crying, your neighbors will wait to hear you by 12 midnight, how you are lamenting, but they hear you praising God because God gave you peace. Psalm 23, verse 4. Psalm 23, verse 4. Psalm 23, verse 4. God will speak peace. God will speak peace. Yes. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear evil. Why? For God is with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. It's not because I am smart. No. It is because the wisdom of God has given me a hedge. Though I walk, no matter the circumstance, they are at the village counting years for you. Uh -uh, you never stay married, you never stay finish school. Though I walk, they will look at you and they will smile before you. But when you turn behind you, they mock you. Though I walk. There are many reasons to give up in this life. But though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will not fear evil. Why? Because God is with you. Jehovah Shama, I see you everywhere. Blessed Redeemer, your glory fills the air. Everlasting Father, the one who watches me, I put my confidence alone in Jehovah Shammah. I met my dad and I told him that it is time for me to get married. This is the card. He said, I am on my own. There are many times when you will be on your own. On your own. But God never leaves his people. Jesus, you are here with me. No matter what I face, I know if it lose my face. <laughs> Jesus, you are here. Please stand to your feet. Just begin to thank him. <laughs> Just begin to give him praise for the months of glorification. Just begin to thank him for the months of advancement. Hey, he has told us that he will glorify you and you shall not be small. Begin to thank him in advance for every step of the way that he will lead you for every milestone that he will guide you through begin to thank him the dangers are ahead of you but give him praise give him praise in advance give him praise in advance give him praise in advance praise him in advance 
for we know that all things work together Somebody is in direction now. Arako fa like a devil 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 like a like a devil 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 like a wisdom does is that it gives us direction. You may be standing here struggling with a choice. Father, what do I do in this case? If I go right, I am locked. If I go left, I am locked. Use this time now and ask God for divine direction divine direction what must I do in the month of July to enter glorification divine direction what must I do in this month not to repeat the same error of last month divine direction where must I enter show me a face give me a name Tell me a word. And let go find like a de barabara tava. And then so many man na tava. And then a comperoto. And let go find like a de barata. And let go find like a de barone barata tava. Let let go find like a do se kabara tava. Ah, show me. Somebody is praying. Somebody is praying. Somebody is praying. Let go find like a de barata tava. Somebody is praying. Father, give me direction. Father, give me direction. I don't know what to do now. Give me direction. Give me direction. I don't know where to enter now. Give me direction. Oh, too many suitors on ground. Give me direction. Give me direction. Give me direction. Give me direction. Thank you, Father. Stretch your hand towards the communion table and ask God to transform this into his body and into his blood and that he should cause healing in you. Hey! Let your body let your blood cause healing in my life healing in my marriage healing in my emotions healing in my job healing in my intellect as I partake of this ritual as I partake of this table I become one with you I become one with you I become one with you oh please pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Father every hand that will receive your body and blood they came with different problems as we consume your body and take in your blood we decree and declare that every need will be met in the name of Jesus. Every stone will be rolled away. 
in the name of Jesus by my partaking in this communion every challenge I came here with I leave them at the altar in the name of Jesus there is healing in me right now in the name of Jesus I experience restoration in the name of Jesus I experience recovery in the name of Jesus thank you father in the name of Jesus the choir for I spoke a word, you were singing over me, and you have been so, so good to me. Before Sonia, straight forward your hands towards the man of God. Declare that the Lord replenish him. Give him more wisdom to speak to a crowd big larger than this. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, say something. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Father, we declare your wisdom upon his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray that you replenish him. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. Strengthen him. Strengthen him. Give him more strength to speak a word in a crowd larger than this. In the name of the Lord Jesus. More wisdom to you, to your career, to your ministry. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we give you the praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Yes. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your offering. Package your offering. Package your offering. Hallelujah. If you have done that, please stand to your feet. Raise your offering. Speak to that offering. Send that offering to an errand. Speak to that offering now. You are the only one to do it. Begin to speak to your offering. Speak to your offering. Send that offering on an errand. Declare the blessing of God upon that offering. Declare the blessing of God upon that offering. If you have done that, lift it up. Father, we give you the praise. We thank you for opportunity to give in your presence. We have done as instructed in your word that we should not come to your house empty-handed. Father, as we dip our hands into the basket, we pick blessings home. We pick wisdom home. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we give you the praise. We declare that our offering is acceptable in, in your presence. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The choir. Hallelujah. The gospel is not for Sunday morning. Sunday morning, the Lord. Each and every day that the Lord has made, we got to give thanks and praise to the Lord. Almighty Father, Baba never tell her. Only Baba bless me, Lord, I am I. If I be
for the rest of my life. Feel it, feel it tangibly. Amen. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus. Sit down in one minute and as we, we are running off, we are closing now. Amen. Praise the Lord. I like us. Hallelujah. Mommy send a greeting this morning. Is I should greet everyone. Hallelujah. And standing on that grace, I declare you blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare, he said, he sent his bless, I mean, a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. She will be here powerfully Saturday morning. Tell all your friends, all your loved ones, your neighbors, not to miss Saturday prayer meeting. It's, it's going to be awesome. Mommy and daddy will be here powerfully. They have been refreshed with fresh anointing and they are coming here to release. If you miss Saturday meeting, you have missed a lot. Don't miss it for any reason. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good news. Good news. Hallelujah. Tomorrow is worship and uh, and what? Testimony night. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There will be diverse ministration tomorrow. So don't miss tomorrow for any reason. Tell somebody to tell somebody. 
to tell that neighbor, to tell that friend that tomorrow is going to be awesome. Prepare yourself and come. If you don't come on time, you may not see sit and sit down. No. Hallelujah. On Sunday, some of us struggle for sit. Is it not true? Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. It will be like that tomorrow. Amen. So don't miss Saturday for, I mean, tomorrow for any reason. Hallelujah. Choirs told me that they are ready powerfully to minister powerfully. Hallelujah. So people are here. There are ministers that are coming to minister also tomorrow. So get set for tomorrow. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, get set for tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then on Sunday is our Thanksgiving service. If you are clapping, clap, clap better. Sunday is our Thanksgiving service. Come with your dancing shoe. Hallelujah. Come with what? Come with your dancing shoe. Come with the clothes that will be easy for you to, to dance. Amen. Praise the Lord. And make sure you come with somebody. Praise the Lord. Come with somebody. You can come like 10 people. He said, ten men, he said, ten men shall hold on to him that is a Jew. Praise the Lord. So, one man, ten men. One prevailer. How many men? Ten men. Hallelujah. So, you have to fulfill scripture. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Rest your feet with me. Let's celebrate God one more time. Let's give God praise one more time. Let's give God one praise one more time. Father, we thank you for a glorious service. We thank you for a glorious service. We thank you for a glorious service. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your word. Is prevailers appreciating God? Are you giving God praise? Are you thanking God? Is God hearing your voice of thanksgiving? In the name of Jesus. I like, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I like God to say a word concerning mommy and daddy. Father, bless them. Let your hand be strong upon their lives. Lord, there shall be no concern. There shall be no distraction. Lift up voice and pray concerning our daddy and our mommy. Father, let your hand be mighty. Are you praying? Let your hand be mighty upon our father and our mother. Lord, uphold them with your strong hand. Lord, there shall be no concerns of any kind. Grant them favor. Let your protective hand be upon them. No evil shall befall them. Lord, we draw a bloodline. We plead the blood of Jesus over every of the activities, over their lives. Let the blood of Jesus speak for them. The blood of Jesus. Father, uphold them. No form of destruction. They move from one place to another. You suffer no one to do them harm. You reprove kings for their sake. Lord, let your hand be mighty. Let your hand be strong upon your servant, Pastor Eneleku and Pastor Ronke. Keep them and preserve them. In Jesus much less name we are praying. Amen. Amen. You have come upon Mount, you have come to Mount Zion. The Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and prevailers shall possess their position. Everything that was a concern in your life as you go home, it is settled. Ah, I say it is settled in the name of Jesus Christ. He said forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. The word of God has gone forth. Whatever that was a concern in your life, as you go today, that issue is settled. In the name of Jesus, whatever you've been believing God for, as you step out of this gate, it shall be granted to you. In the name of Jesus, that favor that you need, that you've been believing God for, before this time tomorrow, it shall be added over to your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare you blessed. Your sleep tonight shall be sweet. He says, shall give you beloved sweet sleep. Your own tonight shall be sweet. In the name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every accuser that is accusing you is silenced already. 
in Jesus' precious name, I declare you blessed. The grace of this commission go with you. The angel of this commission go with you. The favor of this commission go with you. The blessing of this commission go with you. In Jesus' precious name. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit raise and abide with us now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Give, some, give 5,000 people I-5 as you go. 5,000 people I-5 as you are going. 